kind of ruined welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Uh, this morning, uh, Tata and I have decided that we're going to uh, drain back. We drained back out the drained out these tanks again, uh, and we're just going to we're going to basically reseal all of them where it was attaching along the edge of these other tanks. Uh, every one of these partitions is going to be. Uh, resealed on each side and uh, along the bottom corner as well and uh, more settling has occurred here uh, that's actually a pretty big crack now you can see it um, better from the inside here and it's just because uh, this dirt uh, settled on this on this side Uh, a lot of water weight so um, it's going to be the morning project and uh, I'm going to talk to Tatai about what we're going to do when he gets finished with this here I'm wanting to finish up the the nets in these tanks um, Tata and I, Tata and I have just decided that the easiest way to do it and get it done is just to build wood frames and so uh, we'll be working on that as well today but for now I'm just gonna get these uh, potential leaks sealed up well sealed All right, what Tata is doing here is making a little metal frame a little metal box and you're gonna set that in the corners as a bit of Strengthening. And he was chipping that out so that the new rendering will have something to grab onto. It's unfortunate that we have to go back and do this, but you know, it's settling, settling. I mean, these are just there's a, I don't know. This is a, almost two tons of water in each one of these tanks, and even though the soil was compacted, it uh, still settled. So you got to do what you got to do. Tata and Neil are continuing along here. Tata has put those braces in on every corner. Uh, I'm going to hold. I'm going to wait a little bit longer this time before I try to put water in it. I'm going to wait like 48 hours, Tata. Two days. Yeah. Uh, we might have just, you know, we might have just put water in them too soon before. So we're going to wait this time. Let it harden up some. Uh, we're not in that big of a hurry, that big of a rush, so uh, give these braces a chance to solidify. So this is a Tuesday, so Thursday evening I'll start running water back through these and hope for the best. Tata is also going to put the, a screen on this side here and build up this lip about an inch. Uh, basically from here all the way around the corner because when we were you know this is the base level here the level of the water but when you start running water through it uh, the water depth increases and it increased so much that it was actually flowing out here um, from what is from the, the water need, needing to be deeper uh, in order to actually move so and we'll build that up a little bit as well. So you can see this is from the green, from the algae. And this tank uh, all, always over top if I don't uh, siphon quickly enough. So we're going to eliminate that problem as well while we're here. And Tata's working his way this way. 
this is an example of the uh, strengthening that he's putting in. Uh, this is what we have. It's it's the screen panel that uh, we used for the shop. But the set that same thickness. Now, yeah, it's not a lot, but it would it's substantially more than what it had. And he's put this inside and out on the corners. And he will, of course, render over the top of this. So, he's strengthening it up as much as we can with what we've got available. And I think it'll work. I'm hoping it'll work. All right, well, Tati's got, Tati has this all finished up here, inside and out. And he remembered to uh, raise up that corner over there a little bit. I was uh, talking to the Bohico guys, not the Bohico guys, the Behold Solar guys while he was finishing this up. But it looks like a fine job to me. Yeah, we're just going to let this sit for a couple of days and hopefully um, the cement will, will dry harden enough to where uh, the cracking won't be any more of an issue. The thing is, is that, I don't know if you guys remember, uh, this is where I had four of the tarps set in the ground here and that's what I was transferring the the fry in. Uh, there were two tarps here and two tarps here and so when we filled those pits in that was just fill dirt uh, and it was right along this right along this edge here so there were two I don't know almost eight foot nine foot pits a foot and a half deep that had to, that had fill dirt in them and and they were about five feet wide so I'm sure that you know even though we tamped it down with the, the Fred Flintstone tamper it still uh, with two tons of weight on it and then two tons and then two tons it's just so much weight that it it's compacted it some more so hopefully uh, it's settled as much as it's going to or if it settles a little bit more than and the strengthening that we've done here will keep it all together and it doesn't spring any more leaks, hopefully. So, we're all done with this. Tomorrow, I'm uh, going to start building the, the net cages. Um, I'm tired of fighting this the way that it is. Alright, so anyway, hopefully uh, this will all hold up and... Uh, we won't have to mess with it anymore. I'm going to wait 48 hours before we put any water in it, other than if we get a big rainstorm. But we're not going to fill them for 48 hours. So, <clears throat> wish us luck on that. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.